edition of the Everlast Power video series. Today we're going to be looking at our TIG torches. Now our TIG torches are compatible with other TIG torches on the market. That means the consumables will interchange and you won't have any problems finding parts for them locally. But we do have some distinctives about our torches and we offer them in a variety of styles and configurations. And we're going to go over those today. To begin with, let's look at the torch that we have that comes standard with most of our units. Now this is a WP26, and the standard torches that we send with our units currently use an ergonomically styled European style handle. Now this also includes a built-in 2T, 4T remote function torch switch. All of our units typically have a 2T, 4T setting, and this switch helps to operate that function on our welders. Uh, if you don't need it, then you can leave the connector disconnected and plug your foot pedal in and this will become inoperative at that time. Of course, it comes standard already equipped with the argon fitting and, and the correct uh, DIN style connector for the unit that's being shipped with. One last thing we want to point out about the 200 amp 26 is that this has a single solid a copper cable here and a separate gas line. Now you're going to see later on that the 17 series actually has one single line but we'll discuss that when we get to it. Let's take a look now at our 18 series torch. This too has the ergonomic Euro style handle. It's got the 2T, 4T switch at the top. Um, this is a water-cooled torch, but the size and the consumables also are identical to the 26 series. But the one thing that is different is that you actually have three lines that you must deal with to hook the unit up correctly. The first line that you need to be aware of is your argon line. Now the argon line is going to be the glassy smooth looking line without the reinforcement in it it's always going to have your argon fitting connected here. Now the water lines will have a dull appearance to them and have a braided jacket on the outside that you can see the actual braiding underneath the skin of the tubing. Now one of the things that you're going to need to know is which is the hot water line and which is the cold water line. In other words, which is the hot water coming from the torch and which one is the cool water going to the torch to cool it. Well that's pretty simple. This line right here is actually the return. Now it may not make sense to you if you've never used a, a water-cooled torch before, but this is actually the one that is the hot water or the return water coming from the torch that should go back to the cooler. Now the other line, which carries and travels along a separate line all the way to the torch head, is actually your cool water side or the pressurized water coming from the water cooler. Your torch may have the water fittings already installed. Uh, this one does not. Now they'll come loose and you'll have to install them. The water fittings will look just like the argon fitting. In fact, they're, they're the same connectors what we use for the connectors for the water cooler. Now this is designed to fit our quick connects on water coolers and some other companies' water coolers. Um, this is a 9 millimeter quick connect in case you're wondering. Let's take a look now at some of our optional torches. This is a 17V series. This is actually available as a 17 or 17V. The V is actually for the gas valve. This torch would be supplied actually with the European type handle with the PowerArt 140ST. Of course the 17 uh, is a smaller, more agile torch and it also has a lot more flexibility in the line because of the way it's designed with just a single uh, gas line and cable design. Just the same as with our stock torches, all our optional torches come with a 2T, 4T switch attached to the top of the standard straight black handle. Now this is actually has zip ties that hold it on. You can actually use a little piece of Velcro in the future if you need to take the unit off or just re-zip tie it. But this switch will come off and you can disconnect it completely if you like.
Now the 9 series torch is the next one in our line and this is actually available currently in either the European style handle or the black straight handle design. Now this uses the single small cable similar to the 17. Uh, the only difference is it may be a little bit smaller because this torch is rated for 125 amps. Uh, it's a smaller head and these are flex head torches. That means you can move the head any direction you want and that is really great for improving ergonomics and design. Now most people will order this torch with the flat uh, straight handle like this instead of the larger, more bulky um, WP style handle. Like I said, the smaller handle design is probably going to be preferred by most people, but there's nothing wrong with the European style handle with this torch unless you need to get way down in something. And with this type handle you're able to get a little more rotation out of the, the head and you can move it around to where you need it. Now this head here has been used a little bit. I've used this one quite a lot. So the more you use them, the more flexible they'll be. Um, you don't want to over bend them because they will break. One other torch that we have is actually our 20 series torch. Now this is a 20F. The consumables for the 9 and the 20 are the same. They're interchangeable. And they're interchangeable with other 9 and 20s across different brands. So don't worry about compatibility. They'll fit. Just like the 18, 17, and the 26 series will interchange with each other and other brands across the industry, so will the 9 and 20. They just happen to be a lot smaller, a lot more compact. Now one of the things is this has the flexible head too. It's a little more stiff because it's designed to handle a little more amperage, but it'll bend in any direction you need, just like the 9 will. Now the 20 is a water-cooled torch, and it's designed for 250 amp operation. This works well as an alternative option to the 250EX uh, standard torch, the WP18. Now if you need to go higher amperage, say on our 315 series, this will work well, but once it gets above 250 amps, you're going to be pushing the limits of the torch, especially because of the duty cycle. This too is available in the ergonomic design or the straight handled type design of the 9. Because it's also a water-cooled torch, this too has three lines and it fits the same as the 18 with this cable here being the return and your other two you have this, the shiny hose as your argon fitting and then you have the dull braided hose here for the input for the water. There are other torches that we have available from time to time like the 24 series. Be sure to give us a call and we'll be able to help you on any kind of torch need that you may have. We hope this video was helpful for you to understand the different types of torches that we have. Now, if you need any more help, please give us a call at the number listed at the end of the video.